Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and I'm in my craft room with you tonight and we're going to unbox the paper pumpkin kit. So just let me get set up here because I've gone live in my on my Facebook page and I'm just going to share it to my um, VIP group except my mouse is not cooperating. Uh, there it is. I'm going to share to that one and go there. So now I'm going to see if I can monitor two things at once. <laughs> we'll see if that works. Okay, I just got to go. Now, the October paper pumpkin kit arrived in my craft room on Friday. And I was... So there, stop the sound on that and stop the sound on this. I was so busy that all I could do Friday night during our collaboration time was um, show it, open it up and show it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I don't know whether anybody's watching or not, but if you are, I'm trying to monitor my VIP group and Facebook page. So if I, if I get there... I know you can clone this. How do I, how do I open that up again? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I just discovered that you can have two, um, you can have two windows, two, uh, Firefox windows open. You guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. And I, I'm trying to, monitor two things at once and so I'm going to go to this one there okay so paper pumpkin in October it coordinates with the peaceful place suite which is part of the the peaceful cabin stamp set and the Peaceful Place designer paper. So I'll show you that when I open the kit, that this is actually the same as what's in the kit, and it's really cool. Okay. So I've got that going, and I'm going to minimize that, and I'm going to open this, see if I can get that one going. Apparently it's still trying to open. Oh, well. Okay. Hi, Holly and Connie and Jean. Now you're watching on my Facebook page. And I got Facebook. Oh, I don't know which where, where it's going anyways. So I'm trying to monitor two things and it's not working. So if I missed your comment, I just want to say hello and welcome and I'm glad you're joining me. So I'm just, I opened this on Friday. So it's all un, un, unwrapped. So I'm just going to put the paper back in the box. This is, this is going to be a cool box for Christmas because all I have to do is make a tag up for over top of here. And then I got a gift wrap box. There we go. So this shows the coordination. It, the Peaceful Christmas Sweet Collection which I sh just showed you. Oh, still not? Oh, Jean. I'm sorry. That sucks. It's interesting. I'm sharing it to two places and all the comments are coming through on one place. That's a good thing. I haven't done this before. This is something new that I'm trying um, because I want to make this video shareable. So if you want to share it with somebody, you can. So this one has shaded spruce in it. And as you know, I don't use these little ones. I'll get my big one out. Oh, and you know, I forgot a block too. Holy Aunt Jemima. We just had visitors. Oh, Connie, I'm sorry. You guys, that's a long time to wait to get yours. Um, 
one of my silver sisters, Lori, from um, northern Alberta and her hubby are on the island. Their daughter was doing a rowing thing in Victoria, and they drove up today, and we had a quick half an hour visit. <coughs> so she said, I know you're live at 8, so they left at 5 to 8. Oh, my whole day has gone like that. Okay, so these these envelopes are super amazing. Look, they have gold fo or silver foiling on them, and all they're all the same. But if you turn it over, it's got this green um, plaid inside. So I want to see. I want to see the inside of this envelope because I want to use these. Oops, do it carefully, Mollet. There we go. So you've got a nice big chunk right here that you can use as a card background. And then on this side, you've got this nice big chunk. So you don't have to make them envelopes. You can use your, your regular Whisper White envelopes and have more cards. So I'm hoping I'm going to have enough time to... Um, do some out-of-the-box cards. These are vellum sheets with um, trees on them. So they just pop out like this, and they're all linked into one. Now, I haven't looked at the instructions or anything. I have no idea how these cards are being put together. But that's all right. I've been, I've been videoing all day there. So there's the, let me get an envelope here so you can see it. There's the vellum trees. I bent that a little bit, but that's okay. Aren't those pretty? So they really look like this. Okay, so there's five of those. Um, where am I going to pile this stuff? That's a card base. Apparently I had one out. Then there's two, three, four, five of those. So I'll need one of those. And a label. And one of these labels. I'm going to make one of each of these cards. And then if we have time, we'll, we'll go rogue. And we'll do other stuff. Now we're getting into the fun, gorgeous stuff. Look at these card bases. Do you look, do you see them? Exactly the same as this paper. Exactly the same. I love the envelopes too. Hey, hang on till I get out this sheet. So there's the sheet out of the designer paper. And there's the sheet out of the kit. You can't tell the difference, except this is slightly heavier because it's cardstock than this is, but it's exactly the same, exactly the same pattern. So what it is, is right here. Do you see? This is that tree that's right there. Yep, that's where they took it out of. It's exactly right out of that paper. Oh! So cool. I'm not going to use these as card bases. I am going to I am going to cut them down and put them on white card bases. Okay, so let me get my 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 bits organized. And we have some silver Noels. So I'll just pull one of those out. because I'm going to need one of those on one of the cards. And I'll keep one of those bases out. And then we got, these ones are just the green bases. I'll keep one of those out. Oops, that's another one of the other bases. And then we get down to the instructions and the cardboard that I always keep, because, you know, the good crafter always keeps a cardboard. There we are. There's the instructions on how to do this. All right. Let's, let's 
have a look at their alternatives. Oh yes, that's right. They they used these. They used these as a mask on that card and sponged around them and then stamped the trees on top because I haven't showed you the stamp set yet. There's a stamp set too. Wow. Cool. Okay, and the coordinating colors are basic gray, real red, shaded spruce, and silver foil. Okay, so to make the green card. Oh, look, you, I didn't even, <laughs> hello, dummy. Look, there's a, a sheet of that. Um, plaid. Didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's been a long day. I had my YouTube live this morning. Then I did five videos of the five out of the eight that I have to do. And then had a video meeting and then dinner and then visit and then now I'm doing this. So I've been talking a lot today, which is not usually me. Okay, so for the green one, we need a green base. Get my, my uh, bone folder out. We need a green base. We need a piece of plaid. We need the red. We need the gray. We need the Noel. We need the trees and then some stamping. All right. And for the other one, we need this, but I'm going to cut this down. So I'm not going to fold it. So we need that and that and that. And another one of these. There we go. Apparently there's bling in here somewhere too. Oh yes. So in this package, in this package, there is dimensionals and glue dots. And look at these gorgeous blings. Let me get something. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, get one of these. Look at those gorgeous blings. They're faceted and they're they're rounded on rounded faceted, if that makes sense. And they got iridescent bling in there. Oh, they're so pretty. So we need those. Got some twine. Need some twine. And I'll figure out how much of that I gotta cut. And then there's a stamp set that says Merry Christmas, feast peaceful Christmas wishes. Wishing you and your family all the best. Holiday cheer. Sending you peace and joy all year long. And from our home to yours. And some trees and some snowflakes. Ooh, love it. Love it. Okay. Let's see what they have to say about the green one. Put this up here so I can see it. Step one. Oh, I see. We have to stamp the trees. Stamp the trees on this piece in shaded spruce. Now, I always wash my stamps, my photopolymer stamps first before I use them. And I know it's gross, but all I do is lick my hand and, and rub it on there because I'm too lazy to get up and check. Okay, so this has those little um, things where it's a, the, attached to the other paper. So I'm just going to snip those off. Because I'm OCD and they bother me. I had a 
a um a joke from a friend who's also OCD and she said I don't have OCD I have CDO which is OCD alphabetized which is the way they sh the letters should be <laughs> Yep Okay inking up and cuz this is photopolymer I think I'll just get my my piercing mat out just so I don't mess it up okay so this gonna get stamped let's see one two three on the fourth one two three on the fourth and over one two over one two okay right there Lord I hope that's right There we go. So there's that stamped on there. Close the ink before I get it everywhere. Okay, step two. This is going on dimensionals. They think that this few dimensionals is going to be enough? I don't think so. Do they not know there's five of these cards to do and I like to put lots of dimensionals on mine so they don't cave in good thing I have lots of dimensionals there we go so how was your how was you guys day did you have a good day today was it busy what was the weather like we had a gorgeous day outside. It's really, it's a fall day though. Fall is definitely here. It's got that cold, crisp to it, which is unusual for us at this time of the year because we usually have a lot of rain. But the rain is coming. Okay, opens this way. I'm going to put it on this way. Let's see how what this measures. This measures five by three and three quarters. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going rogue. I am. I'm gonna cut this down. There. I just cut it off. I'm going to put it on a regular card base. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was gorgeous out there, Holly. There. So we're still going to have the full front green, but I'm putting it on a, a regular card base so I can make more cards because I really like this and I want to make more of these cards. And I can put insides in so I left this at five and a half by four and a quarter which is the size of a regular card front now we'll put this on here make sure it opens in the right direction yep and this is going to go on here like that okay now Now the trees go on over top. Huh. I wonder why they didn't stamp those trees up higher so you could actually see them. I think I'll leave mine hanging over the bottom a bit. Now, they say to use glue dots. Where are my glue dots? Oh, there they are. Yeah, those little ones, I don't like those little ones because my fingers are too fat. They say to put glue dots on these three trees because this is going over top of it, like that. So we'll turn it over and we'll put some glue dots on there. So I can do it on four of the trees. Yep. One. Two, 
three. Oops. Four. And then that's going to go here, right up against that edge. And I'm going to go down so that it's hanging off the bottom a little bit. Because I can. Okay, there's that. And next, this has dimensionals on it. Holy man, they didn't give us a lot of dimensionals for all these cards. They really don't understand how many dimensionals I use now, do they? There we go. So tomorrow night, I'm having my Peaceful Cabin class. So this showed up right at the perfect time to coordinate with my Peaceful Cabin class. Okay, this is going to go on here like that. And then this, oops, this is going to go on here. So I'll put some adhesive on there. Of course, they say to use the, the glue dots, but I have that handy, so that's what I'm using. Nope. To cut off those little things. Come on, get off my finger. How's that? Nope, it's not centered. See, this is my OCD coming out. Not a loop. Okay. And then I should have put glue dots. Partly sunny late this afternoon. Definitely fall here as temperature cool for the week. Grandkids here after school and for supper. I got a lesson on sharks. So my almost six-year-old. Nice. He knows his stuff and uses words I didn't think a six-year-old even knew. Impressive. Sharks and dinosaurs. Oh, that's awesome, Jean. How exciting for you. I love it when the grandkids come over. We have a lot of intelligent conversations, too. They're, they're homeschooled. Oh, and the, the exciting thing is yesterday, Colonel Chris Hatfield had a, an online webinar thing, and he advertised it, and he was taking questions from um, people who wanted to ask him stuff, and you submitted your question, and then he, he chose people and their questions to answer online live while well, our son submitted his and our two grand local grandchildren's and they were chosen so he got to go online yesterday and talk to colonel chris hadfield in person live on the internet he said he recorded it but i haven't seen i haven't talked to him yet it was really cool all right, look, I have green on my fingers. Apparently that didn't doesn't dry very well on there. Hmm. <coughs> okay, now I need three of these. And one goes here. And one goes there. And then one goes over here. And there's the first card. Ah, that is cool. Okay, put those away now. Because I put it on a regular card base, I can grab a piece of basic white and we'll stamp a row of trees across the bottom. Got my dirty paper out here. Get things out of the way so I don't get ink on everything. Oh, yeah, parent-teacher conferences, those poor teachers. Oh, man, having to put up with, with parents. I can't imagine. Our daughter, northern daughter-in-law, teaches grade one, two. Oof. 
Wow, Heather, that's impressive. That's a lot of laps. Congratulations. Oh, look, it worked. You can't even tell where I overlapped. Oh, love it. Okay, let's put that off to the side. And I'm going to put a sentiment in here. I'm going to put peaceful Christmas wishes. Get off. And I'm going to get my my memento out because it I need don't want to do it all in shaded spruce. Okay. There we are. Right. Put this inside the card. And then we're done the first card. And it had and it's an outside the box card. I didn't do it exactly the way I was told. <laughs> Okay, put that in there like that. And when I was visiting with my friend Lori today, she was looking at my cards and she said, do you finish the inside of all of your cards? Yes, yes I do. I don't see the purpose of creating a beautiful card on the outside only to have people open it and have not so beautiful on the inside. So I always finish the inside just like I finish the outside. There we are. There's our card. So it's done the way it's supposed to be on the outside, but you open it up and it's not done the way it's supposed to be on the inside. That's that's a cool card. So these kits, um, you they they're coming out with refill kits if there's any left on the twenty fifth. So next Monday, if you're at all interested in the kits. Then they'll be online on the twenty fifth, or you can um, you can message me, and I will I can order them for you. So this one I'm going to cut as well. Whoops! I nyan cut that in the wrong spot. <laughs> yes, it's true. And the ones that show up are the ones that are trying to tell the teachers how to do their jobs. I feel so sorry for our... I don't know how teachers do it. I honestly have no idea how teachers do it. I'd kill the parents. There we go. So I'm going to put this onto the, a regular card base. And you see the difference in the white? This is why I like putting them on a regular card base so that I can finish the inside. I hope there is too, but I kind of have a feeling that there's not going to be because I've talked to a lot of people who ordered a whole bunch. Like in two people I talked to, between the two of them, they ordered a hundred kits. So what are the chances there's going to be a lot of extras? Not much. Okay, so I need... I need the rest of the pieces. This goes on here, flat. Then this goes over top like that. And then the sentiment goes on here and I tie a bow. Uh-oh, going to have to go get my bow maker. Okay, so this is flat. right about in here of course I have to being OCD that has to be straight across because when we put this on you know it has to it has to be equal that goes on here like this mm, maybe I left it over there too far oh well it's supposed to hang out further on one end than it does on the other end 
There we go. Get the Merry Christmas. Clean it like I normally do. Oh, and this has silver foiling around the edges of it too. It's really pretty. I should have my, um, what's that thing called? Sandpaper. That's how I usually take these little things off. There we are. Right. Ink up shaded spruce. Stamp Merry Christmas. On there like that. Ooh, what an interesting font. Okay, this is up on dimensionals. Like that. It was a gorgeous day today. I know I said that, but it really was. It was one of those days where, where you are happy to be alive. I had to go visit my, my peeps at the post office today. I've been there for a couple of weeks. Um, because in Canada, on Tuesdays in October, if you have a small business account with Canada Post, you get free free shipping on Tuesdays. So twice now I've been able to send boxes up to our northern grandchildren. Hang on, I got to get my... I have to get my bow maker. You're right. They wouldn't... The only thing is you wouldn't have the plaid, but if you used regular envelopes for this, you've got lots of plaid in here to use. Okay, where'd the twine go? There we are. So now I'm going to make a bow. Wait, I gotta straighten the twine out because it's got a curl to it. I don't like curlies in my twine. There we go. Uh oh. I'm bow challenged tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, cooperate here. I'm live. These people are waiting to see my bow. Okay. So, so. You could do the rabbit ears and tie it as well. But. Okay. So I got to put the bow on there and three blings. So they have the bow here, like that, on there. I'm thinking I want to put it here. Okay, let me get my scissors. Cut that. Then we'll see where we want to put it. Uh oh, it's curling. I don't want it to curl. Where did they put it? Oh, they just kind of put it right there on the side. So it's half on and half off the... I think I'll put it down there. Okay, so now I'm going to get one of those little teeny tiny glue dots because they do make glue, good glue dots for twine. I'm just going to take it, fold it over, and then I'll put it right there where I want to put my bow and put that right there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Keep raising. Oh, I know it's post 
last year it took at Christmas time, they were so overwhelmed with people purchasing online and stuff. It was just like it was down where you guys are. And um, it took weeks to get stuff to where it's supposed to go. They're a little bit more on the ball this year because, of course, they know what's coming, right? It is a beautiful font. I agree with you. Okay, this one's going to go down here. And there we are. We've done that. Ooh, that's such a pretty card. Okay, I've got an idea for... I've got an idea. You got an idea. I have some strips of this coordinating designer paper. No, well, that one won't work. But this one will. Look at these lovely strips I've got here. Let's put part of one inside. Another piece. Put a strip down here like that. So I'll just cut it off. I like cutting mine a little bit long because then I can make sure it goes from one end to the other. Okay, get that out of the way. I can't work when things are invading my workspace. Put adhesive on this. Like that. Just line that right up on the edge. Right like that. Now we'll cut the excess off. Look at that. Oh, love it. Now, it says Merry Christmas on the outside. Your family all the best. Sending you peace and joy all year long. Now, let's do the peaceful Christmas wishes again, but I'm going to do it in black. So I need to clean it. And while I'm back here, I'm going to get my smoky slate. Because I just had an idea. You know, some of these ideas, they just pop everywhere. Okay. Put that here. Like that. lid on that. Get my smoky slate. Oh, that, what? That's a good idea. I took all of my leftover paper pumpkin kits about three months ago and divided them all out and sent them all off to people who wanted to tr give paper pumpkin a try. So some of them got full stamp sets. Some of them I cut stamp sets in half. And they got half a stamp set. It worked out well. I think they enjoyed it. Okay, I lost my stamp. Oh, I lost my stamp set. Hello. My name is Blondie. Okay, so this is Smoky Slate and the snowflake image from here. I don't keep a lot of um, retired stuff in my craft room. I'm going to stamp them off. Then I'm just going to do some light ones in behind. Just like that. Look. Isn't that... Whoops. I don't know why that did that. Isn't that cute? Yes. The sentiments in this stamp set are wonderful. Okay, now I want to take my smoky slate marker 
I want to go around the outside of this just to give it some definition when I put it inside the card. So am I doing these cards according to direction or have I gone rogue on them? Because I haven't. I've cut them. So this is the third paper pumpkin kit that I've got. And I'm going to do the same thing when I get a few of them built up. I'm going to um, bundle them all up and send them out to people who want to give paper pumpkin a try. There we go. That is so, so pretty. And of course, I need another envelope. Now, do I want to use one of these envelopes? Or do I just want to use a white one? Use a white one. Where are my trees? Oops, sorry. And put some smoky slate trees along the bottom of it. Because I can. Okay. Can't see where to line that up because camera stands in the way. Yeah, I wasn't either, Holly. I kind of went cringed when I saw it, but I guess stamping up um, concept artists know what they're doing. <laughs> okay, now let's put some more snowflakes on here. This is really going to send the post office into a tizzy because they don't like stuff along the bottom of, your, of the cards because when they go to put their barcodes, it interferes. <laughs> my little bit of getting back at Canada Post. There's my envelope because now I can use the envelope for this and you make a card out of it. <laughs> There we go. So there's card number two. I like the fact that I can cut them off and put them on the inside, put insides in them. Where did I put that other card? There it is. So even with the going rogue, still didn't take long to put these cards together. And they're really pretty. Really pretty. I just have to do a little bit of trimming because this is bothering me. See the the white hanging out there? I'm just going to run that through my paper trimmer because I didn't get that on straight. So. You know, my OCD, sometimes it's detrimental to my mental health. Okay, now, now, let's take that one I ripped up. And... I wonder if I can fussy cut, fussy cut it out. Okay, I'm just going to go and slice that off. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. Okay, let's just get the excess out of the way. I'm thinking I'd like to use these. 
on a card. So what color do you think I should put these on? Just a white? Or should we use the other side of the envelope and put them on a plaid background? What do you think? No, I didn't have a chance to watch Sarah's video today, Jean. Um, I was video, busy videoing myself. Not busy videoing me, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Doing cards for card videos for my November subscription. So I have um, I have a monthly subscription, and there's. A minimum of four um, project tutorials a month, which are usually the classes that I the class that I do. Then you can have the option of having the video tutorial, or and joining in with us when we stamp. So next month, I can tell you now because I released my newsletter today. Next month, the class is all about Forever Fern because I think that is my all-time favorite stamp set ever. Well, except for Lovely as a Tree. That's still number one in the world. Um, and it's on sale on the 15% sale tomorrow, the Forever Fern stamp set. And it's course it's not bundled with the forever flourishing dies anymore so you can save 15 percent on the stamp set <laughs> well you could you could do um you could do it in a strip jean you don't have to fussy cut it just cut it off in a a straight strip but by now you should know me enough to know i i enjoy fussy cutting one of my club cards in November is, well, two of them, um, is pansy petals. Yeah, three nights I spent cutting out pansies. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so the only thing is that that's going to have... That's going to have... Maybe I need a shaded spruce card base. Where's that other piece of shaded spruce? So here's that other one that I cut off. If we put this on here, of course that's the... And then cut this. Let me cut that. happen if we put there's the fold line is right there that's why I've got it up so high okay that's not going to work I need it down further so we'll have to wrap some twine or something around that what do you think that's kind of cool eh okay I'm going for it. We're going to go rogue. Oh, nice. I've seen a few really cute cards with that bundle. Um, cutting the holes in the cardstock and then putting different colors underneath it. It's not, it's not my style at all. So we're, how far up is this going to go? So I know how far down to put that. This is going to go up to there. So this is going to go down to there. Okay. 
before I push it down. Let's see if this is anywhere near being straight. Nope. Turn the plaid upside down and put the fold. <laughs> oh, Holly. Something so simple. Of course. That would, that would work. But I, I cut it crooked, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fake this. Okay, so it's gonna go here. Why am I putting? Why did I put green on there? Or why am I putting green on when I'm putting this on? Because I want to cut this down, and I didn't do it. Hang on. Paper trim. And I have adhesive on here now, so this is going to be a little on the awkward side, but we'll figure it out. I want to straighten this out. Get my finger out of the way. I'm hoping this is straight. We'll soon see. Straighten that out. It's a little bit better. And um, how am I going to do this? Because I don't want to cut it downside. Mm -hmm. See, if I cut it this way, then it, I'm going to get that. See, I've got a white line there, and I don't want to have a white line there. But if I put this on there, it's going to stick. Oh, well. I want to cut it down to five and a quarter. It would have been smart if I had have done this. Um, before I put the adhesive on it. Oh, of course, that's not the right size. Okay, well, I got to take it down another eighth of an inch then. Okay, where's that piece? Oops, it's not straight. Come on. Don't go on there. You're not straight. Okay, this was a good idea to start with. It would have been even better if I hadn't have put... There. That kind of hides it. Good idea, Holly. That'll do. Now... Cut this off because this has got the the adhesive for the envelope flap on there, and I'm going to put my trees down that low anyways. Probably have to cut that up a little bit more. Now to ask me why I didn't cut this before I put it on there. Who knows? Hey. Now, this is going to go on here. But I want to cut those trees down. I want to cut them down to just cut right there. I'll turn this around. And I 
should have measured that before I cut, but oh well, you know. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of touching up. Because apparently my blade needs to be replaced on my trimmer. Okay, we'll put this here. Oh, dang. Cut it too short. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not working. Oops. I just ripped it. See, sometimes my card ideas don't work. Trim this down a little bit more because I cut those stupid trees too short. There. Okay, trimmer coming back in. Trim off to five. Trim off to five inches. And while I'm here, You guys are probably sitting there laughing your heads off at me, right? Like, what a stupid woman. Okay, how wide is this now? Three inch notes over three and three quarters. I just have to take another little bit off. Teaching moments. Don't put your adhesive on until you're ready. This is why I usually put that temporary adhesive on and audition everything. Now, uh oh, where's my silicone mat? There we go. There we are. Yes, that'll work. So I'll put these on. And then I'll cut them. So, oh, am I going to tell how far up to, to put this? Oh, I'll just leave it like that. That's perfect size. Okay, let's see. There we are. Now, let's get some adhesive on these things. I can just hear you laughing. It's like, now you know the real. People say they, they, they think that my cards are always so perfect. Yeah, but you don't see this part, the creativity part that happens in the background that's so confusing. There we are. <laughs> yep, pretty much. So now I'm going to put it on a card base, but I'm going to have to put, where's my, where's my pokey tool? Use one of these, uh, glue dot things. Put it underneath here so this sticks down because now, you know, it's ripped. There we go. I could have put a white layer over that. Put that on a white layer. <sighs> oh, you guys are nice. Thank you. You know, hang out with me. Well, I get frustrated in my craft room. At least you learn what not to do. Don't fold your cards before you cut them. If you're going to use just the front. And 
don't put adhesive on until you know exactly what your card's going to look like. Use temporary adhesive to hold it in place. And don't get frustrated. Just go with the flow. Okay, got these lovely little things. I'm going to see. Oh, they're so annoying though. I was going to try and put some underneath some of those big trees. I can get the lids off of them. I like the size of them. I just don't like how frustrating they are to use. So I tend to not use them when I'm doing my kits. But if you can manage to get just the, the top off and then pop the glue dot off by itself, they're not too bad. I just don't want these to get caught and ripped off. I should have done this before I put the strip on. But, you know, apparently tonight I'm making a card backwards. <laughs> I'm not going to get frustrated and turf the whole thing. This will turn out. This will. I love your idea about putting that. You can't even tell that that fold. Well, I can tell that that fold is there. You guys can't tell that fold is there. Okay, put that out of the way. All right, where are all my bits and pieces now? Bits and pieces. You would not believe the mess I have. Um, I think a Noel on here. You have to be careful when you pull these off of the the sheets because they they tend to rip these little ones. Put that there. I like how they did the sentiments. I think it's pretty. And put that there. And then put that there. Perfect. Okay. Put some glue on here. Except now my glue has clogged in my Tombow. Yes, all the sentiments are in English. Gene, because this one's not going global. That's why the last one was in different languages, because they're, it's going global, I think, in November. But this one's not. There we are. That on the red one, like that. Should let the glue dry because now I have glue everywhere. Good gosh. Yep. <laughs> it's just one craziness after the other. And I still have two videos to do before I go to bed tonight. And Thursday, we're going to get our flu shot. So we'll be healthy for the flu season. There we go. Now... This will go up on dimensionals. A 
La 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 la. Oh, we were watching CSI Hawaii tonight. And there was a they were talking about um karaoke and one woman said there is absolutely no way I'm doing karaoke cuz I can't sing. And of course all her co-workers were bugging her and they blindsided her, took her to a karaoke bar and forced her to stand up there and sing. There's a reason that she didn't like singing. She was tone deaf. It was funny. Okay, I think. I don't want to put it up too high. I don't want to put it down too low. Put it right here. Like that. And... Put some bling on it. And there we go. There's our card front. Yay! A piece for the inside. And let's see. Have I got any usable piece of this left? I think so. If I just cut this down, I'll be right back. I'm just cutting. Okay, so I need it four inches. So here's another piece of the card, or the envelope, the piece I cut off that I didn't use. Put it in here like this. And then, where's my white? Let's see if I got a piece cut. That's not big enough. Nope. Okay, so I need a piece, probably three by four. There we are. That. And we'll put some snowflakes on here. Where's that? Where's the stamp set? The rest of them are all sentiments, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Where's the Christmas wishes? There's that. I lost. There it is. Peaceful Christmas wishes. Black. Thanks. Ms. Holly. I finally had to throw those pansies away that you gave me in the spring. I've had them all summer and I cried when I had to throw them away. I emptied all my pots out and put them in with the in the boat shed. Because I don't want them to break. So I'm all ready now. Winter can come. I can start doing the Christmas decorations out there. We put them out, but we don't turn them on until after Remembrance Day. Okay, there's the inside piece. Get this on first. Okay, which side do I want to use? It's not really matter.
And put this in there. And then we got to do an envelope. Wow. You're lucky the deer haven't eaten your roses. They must be in a fen in your fenced yard, are they? Because I know the roses, my neighbor's roses are not there anymore. Nothing is there. I was watching my morning um, landscaping crew go through this morning, Mama and her triplets. Okay, this goes in here. Like that. There we are. That's not bad considering it's all made with an envelope. And I think I'll just use one of these envelopes to match. Hi, Norma. Ah, yes, in the back where the deer can't get them. There we go. There's our rogue card. Frost a few nights. Here's so many have beautiful pots. Oh yeah, the mums are out here too. They're um, great big huge pots. Like they're three feet around the ones you get from Costco. I got them last year, but they died, so they don't last long around here. I guess that you got to water them. <laughs> yes. Watering is an issue. All right, so there's our three cards that we constructed today. This one comes out of an envelope. And this one, I just used a regular envelope and did the inside. And this one, I used the envelope, but we customized the inside again. Cut them all. So now I have, I still have the pieces. I still have this piece that I can make another card with. Um, I'm thinking I'll trim this one down and put it on, what do you think, a black or a gray base? Let me just put these papers in here out of the way. Where's that got? I still have ideas in my head. So let's just put those over there. If we trim, cut this down and put it on a black, black card base, and then cut out, cut out the cabin. out of black. What do you think? Apparently I didn't clean. Oh, that's because I want these two, these all to be together. That's why I've glued them there. And just cut out a, a cabin. I think so, eh? Shall we do that? Get a piece of black to make a card base. I hope you guys weren't anxious to go to bed or something. Okay, one card base. There's my bone folder. Now, should the cabin be black or should the cabin be silver? And I'm going to go and cut this. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Now, silver cabin or black cabin? What do you think? Gotta get this paper. Apparently I didn't clean my die out when I used it last either. Silver? 
I think so too. But I'll, I've got this black here, so let me just cut a black one and then we'll have a look. But I'm thinking the silver is going to be better. Oops, not over far enough. Hang on. Um, let's see. Do some. Look, I'm fussy cutting again. And curve it up here like that. Okay, here's a black one. Okay, I need a piece of silver. So we have we have the bright silver. We have the dark silver black silver and then we have the halfway in between silver I like the black too I'm thinking that it's it might be a little bit too much maybe the black silver do I have any I think I used it all Nope. And my other package hasn't arrived yet. This one. Maybe we'll try this one. Okay, so I've got to cut that to about four inches. down the bottom here because I'm going to cut that all off anyways and I'll just cut this out and see what it looks like it moved when I put it over there so I had to go black silver yeah I wish I had some all I have is that little tiny strip of it So I'll use the medium silver. This would have been, that would have been pretty. But you know, sometimes you just don't have it. That's all right. That's all right. No, it looks, it looks purple to me. Oh, wait a minute. Look, I found a piece of it. Yay. I thought it was gone. So I need a piece that is two inches by three inches.
Okay, let's cut this baby out once more. Just have to clean my plates because I've got all sorts of bits on here. There we are. Okay, one black silver house coming up. There. That there. Or gray. Oh. Well, there you go. Gray would probably be nice too. Okay, apparently this one didn't cut as cleanly as the other one did. I have to take all the pieces out. Come on, why are you being so stubborn, annoying thing? Some of these foils have an extra plastic on the back and it, if you don't cut them upside down, they don't cut very well. And I didn't, so now I'm having issues with it coming out. Come on. Got it all except the windows now. Should we put yellow in the windows? Make it look like there's lights on in the house. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Temporary tape. White ink sponged over the black so it isn't so stark. Looks like a dusting of snow. <laughs> You're getting a little carried away there for this late at night, Connie. But that is a really good idea. Okay. So there's the black silver. I'm not thinking I'm liking that. There's the black. There's the purpley silver. I don't know. I don't know. What if we put yellow in behind the windows? That might look cool. Not that, because that's a piece of tape. Okay. I don't like this because I cut it off. It should have the bottom. It looks like it's just kind of hovering there among the trees. Okay. Um... Basic gray. I just want to try something. What if I just cut out the outline?
Of course, that piece is not big enough. Is that piece big enough? doing paper pumpkin. Scissors. Cut. Attach. Oh yeah, doesn't go down far enough. What about that? If I make it a little bit bigger. I kind of like that better with where you can't see through the house. Okay. But that's not the correct size of basic gray. So what size do I need? I need a piece that is three and a half by two. If I make it two and a half by four. So I made it two and a half by four and I'll cut the, tr the house out. You know, this is kind of like Friday night. Only I'm doing the choosing and I still have to do the cleaning. All right, and now put the house on like that. Put this on cut that down a little bit. So let's cut it down to Oops. Dropped it. There we go. What do you think? Oh, look, it goes right across there. I think it would have been better if this was over here and that still went along there. Okay, so I still have more paper. Cut this one more time. Cut this right over here like this. Oh, there, I think. Oops, my die moved. There, now I'm going to cut that down to two inches because that is definitely too much. Okay. Let's 
So that's going to go on there like that. And we'll put it right over to the edge. So that that's on that edge. Put this on here like this. And then get some yellow and put it behind there. What do you think? That might still be a bit too much up too high, but I don't want to go down much lower than that. Okay, so first step is to get some glue on this. Oops. Ooh. Apparently it was clogging again. And I'm going to let this dry because otherwise we're going to have glue popping out everywhere. And that's never good. Now I need to go cut a piece of yellow. Put that in there. This house doesn't look like it's difficult to glue down, but when you start looking at it, there's a lot of little places that need glue to hold them down. There, okay. While that's drying, get some daffodil light. Cut a strip. Hopefully it'll be the right size. Let's just use this one to make sure. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Go. Get some glue on that. There we go. Put that off to the side to dry. Put all these extra pieces somewhere. Find my dies. Because, you know, I don't want to lose my dies. There. Now my dies will not get lost in the mess that is called my crafter math. Okay, we need to get this done. We need to get this done. Where did I put... Get rid of my garbage. I still have another week to, to go to get... So the recycle gets collected and my recycle bin is full. Okay. I'll take this and we'll line it up. And get some adhesive on here. Okay, where did my silicone mat go? onto our I have to do a dry run here because I want to put the I want to put this cabin over as far as I can I 
right like that. There we are. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Love it. Now we'll cut this part off, but not cut that top part off. I need to order me some new scissors. These ones are getting really dull. Okay, now we'll just plunk that on there. And then all I have to do is add a sentiment. And we have our card front done. And I won't bore you with the inside and the envelope because, you know, I'll do one of the things that I've already done. And who says a Christmas card can't be black? Look at that. Wow! Okay. Now, what do I want to do with the sentiment? I think, I think white. I have one big enough for Merry Christmas. I can cut that down. I can put it right up there. Okay. Uh, clean first. Thanks. I like the lighted windows too. It just adds a little bit of hominess to it, don't you think? Um, black. I'll just put that right down here at the bottom. It was funny when our when our friends came in. The husband looked at my husband and said, "So are you a stamping widow too?" <laughs> I'm trying to get my baby paper trimmer out and it's stuck. Yep, stamping widow. Guess it could be worse. It could be a golf widow. chunk a little bit off this end like that and we'll just stick that right there okay what size is that so that's if I need a piece that's take a little tiny sliver off, more off there and a little tiny sliver more off there. And now I can cut a piece that is one by one by two black. I've got any black hanging around? Black bits, black bits. It's a cut piece that is two by one. Uh oh, there it is. Lost my sentiment. No, oh. okay. Let's put it on first and then I'll cut it. Thinking that's, oh my gosh, I didn't cut that very straight. Holy crow. I wonder it looks so funny. I keep moving my, my mat. What did I do with it this time? on there like that. Give it a little bit of a trimmy poo. Oh, 
move that on there like that. Okay, it's too stark, so I'm going to get I'm going to get the smoky slate and the snowflakes. I'm going to tone it down a bit. that up on dimensionals as soon as I find them oh man you guys you should see the mess the crafter math is going to take more than 10 minutes to clean up tonight that up there like that sure it's straight there we go there's our card that took a long time to get done but it's really cute black is not centered on the gray very well but it's not coming up so there it is. there we go so the inside I'll just um I'll just do just a piece of white and stamp it with the snowflakes and put the the other sentiment on there. Either that or I'll put some trees along the bottom. Something and an envelope. Yay! Four cards. I don't know what I did with the other ones. Oh there they are. One, two. One, two, three, four. There we go. So two the way they're almost the way they're supposed to be and two rogue ones. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. I appreciate your comments. And I appreciate you taking time out of your day to stamp with me in my craft room. You're very welcome, Jean. So tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday. I have a class tomorrow night, my, my peaceful cabin class tomorrow night so I'll see you Thursday night and we will be doing oh pale papaya fern forever fern card oof don't forget about the sale tomorrow there's lots of really good stamp sets on sale for 24 hours at 15% off I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening and I'll see you on Thursday stamp and smiles Bye for now.